inclined orbit. Inclined orbit. Inclined orbit means uh, say you are having the Earth and this is the orbit of the satellite. Okay. So this is the path in which uh, the satellite is moving. So as you are knowing that in your orbit you have two focus and one focus you will have the Earth. Okay. Now when we are going for the inclined orbit, uh, here you will see that you are having the satellite that is continuously rotating in its orbit. The satellite is uh, rotating in its orbit. So the position of satellite is changing with respect to time. So there is one parameter that is satellite position. One parameter is satellite position. Another thing is there that on the earth we are having something called orb station. So orb station from the orb station either we are transmitting the signal to the satellite or we are receiving the signal from the satellite or we are using the earth station for controlling the satellite. Okay. So as this satellite is continuously changing its position, even the earth is also changing its position. Earth also changes. Okay. So we, we are having two different parameters that we have to consider. First one is what is the satellite position with respect to time? So at one definite time, what is the satellite position? Where it is? And the second is satellite to earth station position vector. Now, say after some time, this is the earth station. What is the position of the earth station with respect to satellite? Okay, this is the another parameter. Now, if we are focusing on satellite to earth station position vector, we have to see two different parameters. In that, first one is your, what is your lookup angle and second is your range. So, lookup angle means that as the earth is changing, your earth station position is also changing. Okay, now when the earth is changing, earth station position is changing, then what is the status of this earth station with respect to satellite? That whether it is able to, uh, whether it is visible or not. Okay, and range. What about the footprint of that satellite? Okay, so whenever the signal that is coming from the satellite to the earth, there will be on a, what will be the range will be there. That is called your footprint. Okay, so as this is changing, this is also changing, how much change is there in the range and how much change is there in the lookup angle. So these two parameters we have to consider. Now, if you want to go for determining the lookup angle and the range, we are having different parameters that we have to consider. Now we will see that what are the different parameters that we have to consider if you want to go for calculating the lookup angle and the range. For determining the lookup angle and the range, so we have to consider the different parameters. Those parameters are your First one is your orbital element. So orbital element means uh, earlier we have covered the different elements. Okay. Second one is variation in time. So with respect to time, you are knowing that as Earth changes, this satellite position also changes. So that parameter we have to consider. Third one is your perifo perifocus coordinate system. Perifocus coordinate system means it is your orbital plane. So whatever you are having this uh, satellite orbit, uh, this orbital plane is there. Okay, that is your third parameter. Next one is your geocentric uh, equatorial coordinate system. So geocentric equatorial coordinate system, it is your Earth equatorial plane. Earth equatorial plane means uh, we have to consider this, we have to consider the equator, we have to consider the equator and that, that we have to consider the plane. As you are knowing that plane is, it is two dimensional, but when we are, uh, we are talking about the space, in space means it is your three dimensional. So in order to know the three dimensional, we are considering the different two dimensional parameters. Okay. For, and uh, finally you are having the topocentric uh, coordinate system. In topocentric means uh, 
here some observer will be there okay so for this observer what is his plane okay what is his plane so total uh, we are having uh, three different planes that give the information about your lookup angle and the range so what are these first one is your orbital plane then you are having or equatorial plane and finally the observer plane okay so let us assume that this is your earth so this is your earth and here this is your satellite orbit this is the satellite orbit so if this is the satellite orbit uh, we can consider that this is your orbital plane we can consider this uh, if it is uh, making some uh, this type of uh, rotation if it is there we can consider this uh, as your orbital plane uh, if you are going for your uh, earth equatorial plane earth equatorial plane is if if you are considering if you are considering this as the earth uh, then the center of the earth center of the earth that is the equator so we can consider this we can consider this this is your earth equatorial plane okay and observer observer means uh, somewhere here and there he will be there on the earth okay so he may be standing here 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 is somewhere he is standing so what is the range so for the observer what is the range that we see that is the plane that is the observer's plane so three different planes are to be calculated if you want to determine the what is the look of angle and what is the range now we will go for these parameters that is variation 